Yeah, hi, is that Molly? Yeah. Yeah, hi, it's um, Andrew here from Cheese on Toast in New Zealand. Uh, hey, how are you doing? Good, mate, how are you? Good, good. Very good. Yeah, um, the story is, so, we were, we were all, all, uh, all of us were in our school in Baltimore, middle college of art, and um, we... Uh, we all, um, uh, we're in a class called Pear Painting. In the class, you, um, uh, we're supposed to make a band. You're, you're, like, put together with a few other students, kind of randomly or, like, intuitively. Um, like, the our professor, like, literally, like, stood, like, the second class, like, stood amongst the class. Class of probably like 35 more people and just like put people together as well. And then, and then basically the time it was like you're supposed to make a band, whatever that means to you. And by the end of the class, you would be, you'd play a show all together. A pair of And there was one member of the band who, uh, didn't, uh, one member of the band did, uh, Actually, he isn't in the band anymore. His name is Michael Pierzo. And he, he played the keyboard. We had him for like, he was in the band for two months, like, till the end of the class and a little bit afterward. And then he just decided he didn't want to do it anymore. So it became the four of us. Somehow, like, it just clicked really well. And we ended up, um, you know, doing it for a long time. <laughs> Still doing it, so. And does the prof does the professor concerned? Does he sort of follow what you guys are up to now? Like, is he aware of it? And Definitely. Yeah, yeah. We're actually we're pretty close with him. His name's Jeremy Siegler. He's a he's actually he's been to New York. He's been to New York and Australia. He's been to Uh, he must be kind of stoked. Yeah, he is. He is. I think he's like pretty stoked that you know it worked out, and like um, he. I mean, he himself is. He's really interested in sort of like you know. Yeah, I think he's definitely excited about it. He probably feels definitely some responsibility, <laughs> you know, or uh, you know, so good. Yeah. yeah. Really, really good. Do you consider yourselves to be um, an experimental band? Yeah, I would say so. I've definitely used those words multiple times. Use that word like describing us when people ask, you know, ask me like, "Is this I wonder, like, I mean, you know, like, having such high energy sort of performances. So, like, are there ever times where you've, you know, you, you're on tour and you're just really tired and it's like, oh God, we've got to jump around and like, I don't want to. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely do. Like, really exhausted before shows. Um, I'm not 
and I've definitely been nervous or dreaded shows or something in a way. Um, but I think that, like, yeah, I mean, I would say that there are a few times, like, a think of maybe that I actually was like, I really, like, don't want to do, I don't feel like being on stage or something, but I think that because what, maybe because what I do is, like, kind of cathartic, like, sometimes those feelings are, I get to sort of, like, get those, some of that anger, frustration out, you know? Mm. Uh, so usually in the end, I'm like, I'm feeling good, you know? And usually in the end, if you're tired and you don't want to do something, if you do it, you'll kind of feel better. <laughs> so... That's probably happened a few times. Too. So your vocal style is sort of um, non non lyrical. Is that right? Mm-hmm. So like. Um, I mean, not not totally, not totally. There's definitely a few lyrics in there, um, but. Um, for the most part, not lyric centered at all. So, uh, I mean, I, I don't know how to put this without sounding an idiot. Um, but like, <laughs> how, how do you remember the sounds? Like, like, cause they're not words. So it might be almost easier on some level to remember, remember sounds maybe. Um, I think, I mean, I don't know, like music, music itself makes things really easy to remember like a memory tool, and um, I think that once you do something a few times, especially with the music, you just sort of start to remember it. Um, I think that I have it pretty easy, like, compared to having to remember, like, guitar parts or different parts or something like that. So, I, I assume you don't write anything down, though, I mean, you can't, like, or do you, like, do you write the onomatopoeic of it down, or? I don't, I mean, I honestly... And usually, I've tried writing stuff down or like writing things beforehand, all this stuff, but it's just never, I, ne- I don't usually end up losing what I write down. And it usually ends up sort of not, you know, the, um, those sounds actually make sense. And sometimes it'll make more sense than if I try to, like, then afterwards, sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll try to, like, I do do this, and sometimes it works, but I've made, sort of sound I've made like noises that I like and but then I'll be like oh I do kind of want to have lyrics and uh, this is sort of what I've been thinking about while we're, we're practicing so I'll write that down and then sometimes I try to force it in and it doesn't work as well to me it doesn't sound as good to me because you know I'm it's just feels kind of forced mm. um you know it is Maybe the syllables will be a little off, or like the, the you know the way the word, the way the like intonation of the word is, or something. Yeah, and in the end, I probably won't end up using it. It just doesn't feel right, as much as I like like the lyrics. 